Cocktail lovers, assemble. Welcome to Cocktail Date with me, Cocktail Kate, and the lovely folk at Delightful Drinks. I'm bringing you a gin cocktail. It's big, it's bold, it's classic, it's the Tom Collins. So for this, we're gonna be using this beautiful little gin by a lovely little Australian guy called Mark Lamont. In here, you've got bergamot, you've got grapefruit, and really strong peppery juniper notes coming through. So we're gonna kick off first of all with the citrus which for this is a lovely little lemon. It's a really good little tip to get them really warm. What I tend to do sometimes as well is I'll whack them in the microwave for 10 seconds and then you can extract even more juice out of each one. I'm gonna cut it in half and I've got this lovely little bit of kit here, the Mexican elbow. I'm gonna use 25 mils so it's a single shot of a lemon juice. So I'm gonna pop that in this way. It's kind of counterintuitive. Everyone goes to do that. Get them in the jigger. Now we've got our citrus in, we need to balance it out. And to balance it out, we need a sweetener. And for the Tom Collins, the classic Tom Collins, we're just gonna use a simple sugar syrup, which I've made at home. Whatever you put in of sour, just throw in half of sweet, which is roughly around 12.5 mils. Our sour's in, our sweet's in, time for the gin. And we're gonna throw in 50 mils. Now the key to any shaken drink is the more ice, the better. When you think you've got enough ice in this shaker, add some more team, okay? We do that to prevent over dilution. I'm gonna seal them, push them down, give them a kiss for good luck. Really hard, really fast, three, two, one. It's all about the shake face, by the way. Wicked. When you can feel it getting really cold and you start to see this lovely little bit of frosting on your tin, stop what you're doing, get ready to serve. Pop it open. For a Tom Collins, you want a nice tall glass. And again, same principle, fill it with as much ice as possible. So that needs more. Get my strainer, okay? Classic little Hawthorne strainer. Just pour them over the top. What we're gonna do now is put a little bit of air into this and we're simply just gonna add either some sparkling water or soda, whatever you can get your hands on. I'm gonna take a lemon and I'm just gonna make a little wheel and he's gonna act as the cherry's little jacket. The chosen one. So that's your Tom Collins. Let's give it a whirl. perfect way to start a night. But if you prefer things with, let's say, a little bit more spice, if you want to make, say, a ginger syrup, which tastes unbelievable in the Tom Collins, just make a classic sugar syrup, add a little bit of fresh ginger to it, and just do the same as I did. But if you're not a fan of lemons, feel free to make Tom's cousin called the Ricky, all right? So the gin Ricky is near enough exactly the same, but instead of lemon, we're gonna use lime. I'm gonna get my lime, I'm gonna cut them in half. Mexican elbow, 25 mils of lime juice. Exactly the same with your sugar syrup, 12.5 mils. If you don't have any of these little kits at home, feel free to use things like an egg cup. Just remember the principle, double sour to one of sweet. Let's get that gin in. 50 mils, so fill it with ice, pack it in. So top goes on. Try making either your Tom Collins or your Ricky with the ice that's in here. In the business, we call it dirty shake. All those lovely little zesty bits that came off the lime are on here. So I'm gonna do that, I'm not gonna strain them. A little touch of sparkling, nice little lime wheel. It's fresh. That's the Gin Ricky, that's the Tom Collins. Two super tasty drinks, two super simple drinks to make. Have a little go at making them. Leave us a comment, let us know how you're finding each one, which one's your favorite. Maybe send us a little picture if you wish. Have fun, we'll see you next time and enjoy. Mm -hmm.